<clears throat> Hardcore Iron Man, by the way. Just for the record, in case you didn't know. Hey, what's going on everyone, and welcome back to my Hardcore Iron Man series. This will be episode number 16, that means I'm 15 episodes through, so 15% of the way to 100 episodes. That's kind of like my long-term goal, I'd really like to get to 100 episodes without dying. That would be a really, really great achievement, so hopefully I can get there one day. But in the meantime, I'm on episode 16, and I'm just heading over to this miscellanea castle to talk to King Vargas and uh, complete the Royal Trouble quest. This is a quest that is long overdue because what this will do is it will increase my resources or it will increase my workers as well as like the uh, expanse of my kingdom. I unlock some new areas and some new resources and some more workers for my kingdom. It'll make it a lot more efficient because in my first batch of uh, collecting kingdom after a few weeks, it was actually kind of underwhelming. I got like five Ranars. So one of the reasons for that is because I hadn't done this quest. This quest makes it a lot better. So hopefully I will actually get better yields of herbs and such after doing this. And it also gives a fair amount of uh, agility, slayer, hit points, all pretty useful skills, 20k cash. Easy quest to get done, so I don't know why I didn't do this. This was long overdue, but I have it done now, so that's good. I guess I uh, may as well go ahead and put like a million coins into the uh, coffer for Advisor Grimm because I have like two mil cash, so why not? <coughs> oh god, that's pretty bad. Alright, either I'm really, really bad at keeping up with my kingdom, or completing that quest made it go down, because I do have more subjects now in the Cetria um, region on the uh, eastern side of the island, so maybe that made it go down since I have more subjects, but maybe uh, maybe not, I just might, I might just suck, so that could be it. And a little while later, I got my favor back up to 100%, so I guess I'll go ahead and put some money in the coffer. I figured I may as well just bring my whole cash stack. I'll probably put like half of it in. So I guess I just do, uh, how's the kingdom faring? And then I hit no, and then I'll put one mil. That seems reasonable. I mean, I'm an Iron Man. I don't like putting cash in there because, you know, it's my hard run money. I'd rather just like let it stack up and grow. But, you know, in the long run, I'm an Iron Man. It doesn't really matter that much. So I'll just put one mil. It's going to be kind of painful. Goodbye, one mil. I hope that you turn into lots of good resources. <laughs> oh, and I almost forgot I have this uh, island unlocked right here, so now I have a bunch of my uh, workers on idle, so I can put the herbs all the way to 100%. Uh, fishing, that's kind of useless. I don't think that gives any good fish. Mining, I can just go to Motherload Mine. I don't really need any resources, so I guess the only thing would probably be maples, maybe? Hmm. I'm not actually sure. I know the maples give lots of bird nests, and uh, are mahoganies even worth it? I don't know if I need mahogany, so I guess I'll just do maple trees. Ugh, I hate this minigame so much. Why has it changed so much? I still got on a construction level at least, but I think that my record for most tiers collected in one single stream was about three. That entire round. That was the most unlucky I've ever had um, during the Tears of Gothic's minigame. I was so frustrating, this game just stresses me out. Oh, it's so bad. One thing that I've really been slacking on during this account is getting my Zaya favor up. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and continue doing that. I already knocked out the Archaeus house favor, so I'm gonna go ahead and do Shazian next because that gives you the chance of unlocking the Xerix Talisman, which is a one in five twelve drop rate from the regular Lizardmen. They require 20% favor to kill. I already got that by using the medic packs on the wounded soldiers. So I'm gonna kill these guys until I get a Xerix Talisman. Hopefully I get it before I get 100% favor because that would be the most efficient, obviously. And that will unlock some really, really nice teleportation methods around Zaya because it's really annoying having to use a games necklace to teleport to Winter Todd and then running the rest of the way wherever you need to go on Zaya. So this will really, really make things a lot easier when traversing uh, the Zaya map because Zaya is quite big. I don't know why they made it so big. It looks nice. I like the, the rework they did on it, but it's just so unnecessarily big like the houses are ginormous like why are they so big oh yeah and this item is a 1 in 5 12 drop rate and we all know how lucky i am with those <clears throat> the the black mask uh, almost 1700 kills so <laughs> please don't let that happen again oh you're kidding me already that's insane i cannot believe that that was like probably two minutes after our, the last clip that just occurred like I, I literally was just talking about how i really was hoping i didn't go dry and there it is that easy. That's how easy the Black Mask could have been. 
This place gives me so much anxiety because these stupid soldiers have like negative 54 defense, so they get piled like instantly and it can't really, uh, it's hard to distinguish which is your health bar and which is theirs. See, look, that guy just died. So like for a split second, every time I'm looking at my other screen, I look back and I see that I think I'm dead for a second and I'm like, oh yeah, it's just the soldiers with their negative defense levels. And there we go, that's 100% Shazy in favor done. I uh, got a fair amount of stuff as well, lots of resources. It's actually not too bad in terms of loot. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over and talk to the NPC that allows me to lock my favor so I can uh, start some other favors soon. And this is the loot that I was able to get. I got a fair amount of random seeds. Uh, I got a lot of Renars. I actually started really strong. I got five Renars really quickly, ended pretty weak, didn't get many in the end, but five overall pretty good and then some random other seeds and stuff and like maybe 30 Xerix fabric so I can actually make uh, the Xerix robes that can actually be like my best in slot magic armor for the time being. also got 77 charges for my Xerix talisman, hopefully that will last me a fair amount of time. See this is the problem with Zaya, like why is this barricade looking thing so incredibly massive? It's like three times taller than I am. Why does it need to be this big? It just looks ugly, I just that's the thing with Zaya, like the, the overall problem, if I could describe one flaw with Zaya, I'd just say everything's too big. It's just, why is it so large? Like, look at everything. You have these massive tents and stuff, and these aren't even the big ones. Alright, and after talking to this NPC right here, located uh, just in the northwestern portion of the Shazian place, I have now locked the favor, so I can move on to what other house I want to work on in the future, whenever that might be. Also, I guess I may as well make these into robes right now. Can't hurt. Um, and oh, look at that. The new interface just arrived today. I completely forgot. How does this even work? Make one all other. Oh, so I guess you just click there. Maybe you select it first. Uh, I don't really know how it works, but oh, no, 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 no. Don't make more. Okay, good. I thought I was going to use up all my uh, robes. Let's make this one. And that one, and that's that's about it. There we go. So this will be my best in slot magic. No, don't make two. Oh, dang it. Oh, whatever. Uh, now this will be my best slot magic equipment, I believe. That gives me a plus 36. Not too bad. What is it without it? Oh, plus 13, so yeah, pretty good. All right, there's level 50 farming sneaking in there. I've been doing this farming pretty much daily at this point. Haven't had too much time to play, but I have been able to get some AFK skills in and some farm runs pretty much well, maybe one or two per day which is pretty nice and there's level 50 coming in which is another level 50 skill how many do i have left i just have a handful a couple there and yeah that's actually it just uh rune crafting and construction and then uh, base 50s so i can also plant avantos all right here i am i finally motivated myself to go to this place i'm going to start the mage training arena grind which is something i really was procrastinating on doing i really don't want to do it because it's going to be long and tedious and expensive but in the long run it will give me a lot of magic experience as well as magic levels and it will obviously benefit me by granting me those useful magic items including the infinity boots the master wand mage's books all those items that are probably going to be necessary for my account in the long run so i may as well get it over with i have the cash to do so so I'm going to proceed to talk to this guy and spend all of my hard-earned cash on runes, which looks going to be extremely painful but necessary. And I'm not really sure if I'm going to get all items at once. I'm definitely going to get at least one right now, but if I have enough patience and stamina, I might just get all three. Maybe even all four. Maybe I'll even do the bones to peaches, but we'll see. Ah, and there is one million cash down the drain. At least I got just under 3,000 nature runes and a little over 2,000 law runes. The only thing I need now are cosmic runes which this shop doesn't actually sell which doesn't really make any sense i pretty much see every other rune here but cosmic so i'm gonna have to go somewhere else i could go in mage bank but don't really fancy going into the wilderness to be honest i mean not really on my uh, peak of priorities so instead i might try to go to alcarid and see if ali morrison has a large stock because i did do the sudoku puzzles so i do ac have access to some i just don't know how large the stock is i think it's pretty low yo what the heck i i already did this why do i have to do it again I'm almost positive he didn't have to do it again, man. Oh, I don't want to do it. It's probably not even worth it. He probably has like 10 runes or something. And I'm going to have to go through all that dialogue when I hop worlds. I don't even know if this is worth it. Uh, is there another place I can buy these? Does the freaking shop on Apatol sell any? I really hope so. Yeah, I just looked it up. He only has a stock of 10. That's kind of depressing. Literally every other rune is like a stock of 100, and then the cosmic rune is the only one that's at 10. Why, why does Jagex make it so difficult to obtain cosmic runes from a shop? Like, I genuinely don't understand. I mean, I guess it's, you know, you know if, if they had too many, it might be too easy, but why is it just one rune? Like, why is it just cosmic runes? 
It doesn't make much sense to me. And also, why do I have to do this puzzle again? Am I just like going crazy? I realized that I did it on my first hardcore account, and maybe I'm confusing with that. I'm pretty sure I did it on the second. So I don't really know why I have to do this again, but whatever. I guess I'm gonna go craft my own cosmic runes. Well, at the very least, I have a little over 1100 pure essence. It would really suck if I didn't have any pure essence and had to go mine it, so I can turn these into cosmic runes pretty quick. And there's all the pure essence crafted into cosmic runes. It's a really slow task. It took me about two hours, but it's all done. I have yeah, a little over 1100, so that should last me a fair amount of time. That definitely isn't enough to get me all three of the items that I really want right now, but hopefully it'll be enough for at least one of them. That skill is just honestly so slow. You think it's slow in a main, then you do it on an Iron Man, it's just absurd, because you don't have access to the Abyss because it's in the wilderness, and you can't really do that in a hardcore. You also don't have really close access to a fairy ring. The best one is uh, the Arty Cloak, teleport to the monastery, and then running east, I guess. And then uh, you don't really have the quest cape that gets you right next to the fairy ring, so that's kind of a disadvantage. And then also you don't have all the pouches, so it's just so much slower. You think it's slow on a main, then you do it on Iron Man, it's just like absurd. But there's all of the cosmic runes crafted, and I think I'm actually ready to start the mage training arena. I always tell myself every week that I'm going to get my quest points up so that I can last longer in this place, but it never really happens. I think I went up by like one quest point from last week, but regardless, I guess I may as well just go ahead and do this, so hopefully I can uh, get better than last time. I think last time I got like 60, it was pathetic, so I'm going to try to get maybe, if I could get over 100, that'd be awesome. All right, that time I got 102, just over 100, not too bad. Let's see uh, what our level's gonna be, 39 to 41. So there's two construction levels coming in. Unlock some random stuff, not bad. So that's actually that's actually a really cool milestone. I just realized that is a uh, base 40 stats. Actually, a uh, base 41, in fact. Oh man, the decisions. I have all these rooms that I can enter. Which of the four shall I start with? I was leaning towards doing the Enchanter's room, but then I realized that I actually only have 67 magic. And it turns out you need 68 for the Dragonstone Enchant spell, which is a lot more efficient to use than the Diamond one. So I may as well just wait to get one more magic level. So in the meantime, I have these three to choose from. And I think I'm going to go with the Alchemist room. I can just Alk to get level 68. And I don't really mind this room too much. It's actually pretty relaxing. So I think this is a pretty good one to start with. 10k cash in the Collector and 20,000 magic experience. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot you actually got a bonus at the end. I did not expect that. I didn't think I was going to get any bonus. That completely caught me off guard. had no idea. completely forgot about that. So that's actually level 68 magic already. Pretty cool. Also, um, how many points did I get? Uh, oh, it displays them right here. So there's 100 pizzazz points in the alchemy room. Oh, a thousand coins. No way. Okay, there's another 10k cash. I'll put it in the collector and hopefully I'll give me another 20k magic XP. There it is. That's almost level 69 magic and there is a total of 200 possessed points in the alchemy room. So that's actually enough to buy my first item. I believe that the infinity boots are like less than 200. So I'll actually have the amount of points required for the lowest item. I think I'll keep going though. And there's level 69 magic. One away from level 70. And I can teleport to Corend. I can actually do that. Um, I unlocked the teleport incantation already, so that's pretty cool. I just need the runes. Um, actually, I think I have some soul runes in my bank, so I should be all right. And there is another 100 alchemy points. That puts me at 300 total and um, almost halfway to 70 magic. And with this last alk, that will put me at another 10k cash, which I'll quickly deposit into the coffer, and that will grant me 20k magic speed, which will get me to level 70 magic. All right, and that unlocks Earthwave and the ability to wield the Ancient Wyvern Shield. That's pretty cool. Maybe one day I'll get that. That'll be pretty sweet. But more importantly, that is actually base level 70 in all the combat stats. As the uh, first time I've done that, I didn't do that in my last hardcore, so that's pretty cool. Nice little milestone there. I guess I'll continue the alchemy point grind. And another 10k cash equals 20,000 magic XP. Oh, I love getting that reward, it's so nice. So that is 25k to level 71, and also 500 pizzazz points. All right, I'm getting bored and I can't really take much more of this. I think I need a change of scenery, so I'm going to be moving to the Enchanter's room. And the nice thing about this room is it's pretty AFK. Oh, look, wow, that's kind of unusual. The uh, Dragon Sons are actually here, usually the bots take them all. What I was going to do is, um, this room's actually pretty AFK, uh, the Dragonstones spawn every 7 minutes, so I can just wait and just AFK for 7 minutes, 
and then like have a little timer set and so every seven minutes I will come back pick these up and out them before the bots get here but they're actually already here which is really surprising I guess I just got really lucky oh gimme 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 here they are again I gotta beat the bots they're gonna come here any second I guess they're timed or something because they always arrive like if you're quick you can get them and then like a couple seconds later the bots will usually show up and then if you're fast enough you'll get it before them and throw them in the hole and 170 total pizzazz points in the enchantment room i guess i need 1200 for the first item oh my god i just got 1200 points that's what i need for the infinity boots so that's pretty cool did that all in one sitting that was pretty exhausting but now it's just two more rooms to go all right, 3,000 points in the enchantment room. I got kind of carried away at this room. I said I'd probably stop at 1,200, but I went a little bit further because it's really not too bad. I kind of like the AFK aspect. You can just wait seven minutes, wait for these things to spawn, enchant them, and then just repeat. So I've been able to get a lot of stuff done on the side while I wait for them to respawn, which has been pretty nice. And there's 3,000 points. But that being said, I am still getting pretty tired of this room, so I think I'm gonna move on from here. Okay, the graveyard room. This is the room that I know the least about, and it actually deals damage so hopefully this doesn't count as an official death that'd be kind of awkward if I lost my hardcore status to this place so hopefully that's not the case but I really don't know how to do this uh, this room at all I'm just kind of randomly clicking stuff so hopefully I'll figure it out pretty soon and then we put it in here how many points do we get give me a couple points one point oh man and 25 magic XP. Yeah, this might take a while okay good there's a hundred points in the graveyard room please get me out of this place this is like by far the worst you're literally just collecting from the bone piles clicking the spell and then putting the bananas down the chute it's it's just so simple yet so tedious it's the worst i really prefer the other two a lot more the, the other one i haven't tried yet is the telekinetic one which i'm going to try now i think this one's like just puzzles so it's not too too bad it, i think it's pretty slow but at least it's a little bit more interesting oh snap just got level 71 magic wasn't even expecting it that's pretty cool all right i think i'm about done in this room as well i've been doing this for a fair amount of time did it for like about a day 162 points that's pretty good i'm actually i believe i'm just 20 points away from being able to buy the first item which will be the infinity boots so i'll quickly check right here i think that i need 120 and i only have 100 of the graveyard so where's the graveyard yeah that's true so i need 20 more of those i have the enchantment i have the telekinetic and i have the alchemist so i'm actually ready i just need 20 more points and then these boots will be mine all right, this is the last spell that I have to cast, and I just put this in the coffer or whatever it's called, and there is 120 points. That should be it. I think I can afford my first item, which is the Infinity Boots. So let's get the heck out of here and go upstairs. Okay, here we go. The first item that we will get from the reward shop in the Mage Training Arena. I know I have a long way to go. I still have to come back here, but for the meantime, I think I'm going to get these boots and uh, do my my uh, dust level task. Oh. It's tempting to get this first, but I think I'm gonna do this one second probably. I just want to get this for the task. So infinity boots, Gibby. There we are. Oh boy, got the infinity boots. Pretty sweet. Wonder how much they're actually worth. Probably puts my bank value up there pretty high. Oh man, I'm just so happy I finally got these boots out of the way. They look so nice, and they're just it's such such a nice achievement to get on the Iron Man. This grind is no joke, and I still have so much more to do in this place, which is crazy. I did like all of that work and I just get one of the items and it just happens to be the cheapest item that's kind of demotivating but oh well I mean it is kind of relaxing doing these activities it's not too bad the magic XP isn't terrible either so I'll get through it and I can actually head on and do my dust level task right now but I'm actually not going to do it this episode because this episode is getting pretty long and it's been a while since I pushed an episode out it's been well over a week I really want to get this one out so I'm going to save that for the next one I know I was wanting to do it this one but I'll just save it for the next one it'll be the first thing I do so apologies for that but I'll probably get the next one out in about a week I'm going to try to grind this one out a little bit faster if I can help it but anyways I think that the next one I'll probably just do this the slayer task obviously and then probably more mage arena honestly it's pretty relaxing and then good xp so i can probably do a little bit more of that and probably try to get the bones peaches and maybe the master wand and maybe the mages book although that one's just so expensive i'm not sure i might just use a god book i mean prayer is pretty important on a hardcore in many ways so i might just use that that might suffice but anyways rambling aside thank you very much for watching and i will see you all in about one week so take care